Hi, my name is Scott Colgan. I'm Vice President of Marketing at River Meadow Software, and today I'm going to demonstrate how quickly and easily you can migrate servers into your AWS Virtual Private Cloud. The first thing that I do is I navigate to River Meadow Cloud Migration SaaS portal, enter my username and password, and click Sign In. Once I've signed in, I'm presented with a welcome screen. As a new user, the first thing I do is I set up my target cloud. The second thing I do is I'd identify my sources and then migrate them. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at what it means to set up a target cloud. I'm simply going to go up to Manage Target Clouds, and once I'm here, we can see that I've already got my AWS VPC set up. Uh, but if I needed to set up a new target cloud, I'd simply click on this button here, and it's as easy as selecting my cloud type, giving it a name, providing the cloud URL, username and password, and then clicking Add Target. Since I've already done that today, I'm just going to cancel out of here. And then the second thing we talked about doing is uh, managing our sources and migrating them. So I'm simply going to go to Manage Sources. And what we can see here is I have three sources already set up today for our migration. I have a Windows 2012 server sitting in a VMware account. I have a Linux Google instance sitting in my Google Cloud account. And I have a Windows 2012 machine sitting in my Azure account. Um, if I needed to add a new source, I would simply click on Add New Source and I could give it a name, I provide a host IP address, a username and password, and I click Add Source. I've already got my sources set up, so let's cancel out of that. And for efficiency's sake, if I had multiple sources that I wanted to bring into my library, if you will, I could simply click on Upload Multiple Sources, and I could import a CSV file that I could have created uh, on my desktop, or I could have exported from, let's say, a discovery tool that's created a move group for me and very efficiently bring over a number of them and upload them all at the same time. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of this. And the next thing I'm going to do is simply go ahead and select these three servers and click on Inspect and Migrate. This will bring up a dialog box that allows me to choose my AWS VPC. Once I've done that, I'm going to click on Continue. And River Meadow SaaS is now going to perform what we refer to as attribute collection. Um, attribute collection is simply just collecting some details about the target and the sources that we're uh, migrating uh, from and to. Uh, OS, memory, storage, CPU, and whatnot. Once that is completed, I'm going to click Continue. And at this point, River Meadow SAS is going to perform or it's going to initiate uh, the source feature inspection. Um, what it's going to do is it's going to look at these sources, verify that there's enough memory for migration, the source disk can be migrated, and things of that nature. Um, I do have one helper warning down here, um, which is just simply telling me that the boost di boot disk is not the first disk on the source, so it's going to accommodate for that during the migration. So I've selected all of my source servers here, and I'm going to now click on Create Migration Profile which then creates a migration plan for me. And think of this as a project plan. I've got three servers in a move group that I want to move over. It will save this plan for me, and I can access it and leverage it again at any time. Um, so in the plan, I have a few things that I can do here. Um, I can schedule the migration for now, or I can schedule it for a later date and time. Uh, today, uh, we are going to schedule it for today. Um, there's a global settings where if I have settings that apply to all the servers that I'm migrating, I could just do it one time here and all the servers in the list will uh, receive those settings. Uh, but just to show you the different things that we can do here real quickly, um, we can give the uh, sources that we're migrating uh, new instance names. I'll go ahead and copy this. Uh, I can set the storage up. I can configure the networking. Um, I do need to select an instance type, so I will select my T2 medium, which gives me four gigabits of RAM. I need to select a role, select that support role, and then I'll do the same thing for my remaining two VMs that I'm migrating. We will select an instance type, we will select our role, and last but not least, our third. Instance type and roll. And we are ready to migrate.
I'm simply going to click on continue. This will initiate pre-flight validation. Just make sure everything is set up correctly. Tell us any things we might want to think about uh, before we proceed. Helpful tips and whatnot. As we can see, all of our sources have passed the inspection status. And from our migration plan, we do have a helper tip slash warning that tells me that Amazon by default only allows five VPCs per region. I know that I'm okay on this, so I'm just gonna go ahead and close that up. And we're gonna go ahead and start our migration. So at this point, our three servers are on their way to being migrated into my AWS VPC. And as we can see here, we named these RM Demo 1, RM Demo 2, and RM Demo 3. I'm logged into my console over here. Let me just do a refresh and see if they've started to come in yet. Which they probably haven't, but we can check. Not quite yet. So let's go back and take a look at our progress. We're waiting for these migrations to start still. And as we can see, we've initiated step one on our first two. And so we'll just go ahead and let's take a look and see what that means in the details page. And here we can see that we've instantiated the target. And these are all of the steps that River Meadow is going to automate through the process as we migrate our servers into our AWS VPC. Each of these servers will take a little bit different uh, time um, uh, because of the size that, that they are. Um, but essentially what we've done today is we have migrated three servers, one from VMware, one from Azure, and one from Google Cloud into our AWS VPC. And we can see that the RM Demo 1 and the RM Demo 2 are well on their way in, and RM Demo 3 should be showing up any time now.